So I just happened to be driving past a basement and uh, the garage door was open, so I thought I'd pop in and see where it's at. So um, this was a single level basement and has a bit of water table. It has a, a bentonite sheet with a shotcrete wall. Um, looks like they're installing a heap of bike racks directly on our shoring wall here. Um, and the wall looks pretty dry for the most part, but down the bottom we've got a lot of water coming into the bottom of our drains here. Um, car park's ventilated, so it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem, but not the, the nicest outcome either. A um, bit more of a look along this wall here. You can see that we've got the Shot Creek panels. And then we've got a capping beam above with then the ground level slab sitting on top of that. So you can see a little bit of seepage staining coming through the walls here. A little bit of iron rust discoloration there. A little bit more staining coming through here. It hasn't rained for a while, so it's possible that these... Um, rust staining leaks are activating when it rains. You can see that there. A little bit of water down the bottom, a little bit more water here. And then uh, making our way down to the back corner here, looks like we have a bit worse of a situation. Um, pretty localized though, in fairness. So let's have a bit more of a close look. So here we go. We got wet water seeping through here. This is just below the capping beam where the shotcrete panel comes up covering the shoring wall underneath. Um, the bentonite system would be terminating just on the underside of that capping beam there. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely a weakness in the system. And you can see we've got this water coming through here. We've got quite a lot of water sitting in our drains here just really because this is a poor looking drain you can see that the pipe is actually raised up so that's why I've got a an inch or so of water down there and then we've also got a another bit of seepage really coming out the bottom of this shot creep panel along here but truth be told it's pretty effectively contained so I don't think it's really impacting the amenity of the the use of this space down here because it is all just car park storage. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that this is only a few years old and we're, you know, already seeing these signs and we're supposed to be having bikes on these walls and other things. So, yeah, all the drains are wet down the bottom. So yeah, always interested to see how a basement turns out after um, a few years after it's it's been poured. See, we've got a bit of seepage coming straight through our, our shot crate here, contained by our perimeter drain down the bottom. Looks like all of our drains have got a fair bit of water sitting down there, but uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be creating any noticeable negative outcomes. So hopefully they can get that rectified and Everything's as it should be.